What is up, Coretics? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movie slash TV show vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again guys, remember that I do have a separate series for the Fast and Furious cars, so again, this movie slash TV show series is for the other popular movie vehicles. So, in today's video, we're going to be building the 1970 Chevy Nova from the movie Death Proof. This movie starred Kurt Russell as Stuntman Mike and was a very interesting film to say the least. Not my favorite, but the car itself is pretty iconic with the paint scheme and the skull decal on it and all that stuff. Now we do have a Nova inspired car in game, which is the Declasse Vamos. However, unfortunately, this was one of the removed cars from the websites and used to only cost a little under 600000 So you're going to have to unfortunately acquire this car using one of the methods that I mentioned in my video, which I'll leave again linked down below in the pinned comment. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the build for the Death Proof Nova. Alright, Death Proof Nova, let's do it. All right, so as usual for all these builds, I always do max armor and performance mods. We'll do that. So starting off with the bumpers, you want to leave the stock front bumper. That's going to be the closest one. Uh, rear bumper, same thing. You want to keep it stock, so stock rear bumper. Engine will max out. Exhaust. Now this one, I had to go through a lot of different pictures to find um, where the exhaust comes out of. Uh, but I uh, finally found one here. Um, and that is the race exhaust. Uh, it's not identical. The exhaust would come out more towards the tire, uh, but by far out of all the options here, that's going to be the closest. Um, so we're going to do that. Fenders, you want to go with the trim delete. So no arch extensions, just you want to do the trim delete. Grill. Uh, this one, you know, it's a bit preference based. You can either go with stock um, or you can go with the bullet grill. So either one of those two, stock or bullet grill. Um, personally, I think I'm going to go with the bullet, even though it does have um, less grill um, uh, lines. Uh, this one, I guess, would be a little closer, but it does have those like fog lights in there. So personally, I think the bullet grill will be a little closer. So that's what we're going to go with there. Um, hood. So for this one, you actually want to keep the stock hood. Continuing to lights, you want to keep the stock lights. And even better, if you take it to uh, the arena or the uh, LS car meet, I would definitely recommend the uh, yellow lights or the white lights. Uh, livery. So for this one, you want to go all the way to the bottom, and the livery is called Sure It's Safe. So <laughs> that's what the... Uh, in the movie, the the girl asked him, uh, is it safe? And he asked, it's better than safe, it's death proof. A famous line there, uh, very cool. So, of course, we're going to do that. Love it. I'm surprised Rockstar even did that. That's just awesome. Uh, plate. So, I went ahead and actually recreated the plate from the film. So, it's right here. The real plate was uh, JJZ space 109. So, I went ahead and replicated that. Um, and then for the plate background, you can either go with blue on white one or blue on white three. Up to you. I think I'm going to go with blue on white Not one. Respirate. This one's very simple. You want to go to primary, uh, matte, and then matte black. That's the color of the car. Very simple on that one. And then secondary, you can go with chrome. Um, or you can go with metals uh, brush steel, which is a little bit more toned down than the chrome. Uh, it's up to you which one you want to do. I think I'm going to go with the with the chrome personally so do that uh, roll cage so obviously the car did have a crazy roll cage with that uh, pexi glass section on the passenger side and um, not an actual like normal seat on the passenger side it was like a tractor metal seat or whatever so uh, you want to go with the stunt cage which actually removes the passenger seat so that's going to be the closest and there's actually like a little seat cushion there, kind of, that's actually pretty good. I mean, obviously I just copied and pasted this from the Duke's stunt cage option, but that's, that's awesome. Definitely the closest you're going to get. Um, roof, you want to do the stock roof, you don't want the vinyl. A uh, spoiler, the car didn't have any spoiler upgrades, so you're going to skip that. You want to keep that stock. Suspension, my personal opinion, I think the stock right height is, is perfect. I think it's spot on, so don't, don't lower it, leave it stock. 
transmission will max out turbo we're not going to do car wasn't turbocharged so we'll skip that wheels so the stock wheels are actually the closest uh, to the real car but the the real one had some chrome in there so if we go to muscle and then you go to the wheel called um old school that's going to be the closest one but there's still not enough chrome in there um, so you want to go to the chrome category and then you want to throw on the old school so that's perfect now the real one did have um, a bit of black a bit more black in there but you, you kind of have to compromise and i think there's definitely more chrome than there is black so i think uh, going this route is going to be the uh, best choice so we'll do that um, no tire design or anything like that it was black wall tires uh, windows the car didn't have any tints um, so yeah definitely leave that stock and that's all the options there all right take it for a drive death proof nova looks fantastic i mean it's instantly recognizable if you've seen the movie or even heard of it that is so cool look at that that's so sick <laughs> with the plate and everything i love it first person that's sick absolutely sick all right floor it tons of wheel spin great exhaust note too rockstar did a fantastic job on the vamos as I said earlier, it is a real shame that uh, that you know you removed it from the website, but it just is what it is. And this, so there's a few, there's a handful of cars in GTA where when you go over bumps, they kind of steer themselves, depending on the, the the road bump and stuff. So and curbs and stuff like that. So this is one of those cars. Unfortunately, the Arbiter GT does the same thing. The Tulip does the same thing. So it, this is a very sketchy car to drive. It, it, it likes to steer on its own depending on the, the road bumps and stuff. It will jerk you left and right depending on the bumps. Um, so it's it's really tricky <laughs> and uh, it's it's very sort of, I, I don't want to say annoying. I mean, I guess it is sort of annoying if you're trying to race it competitively or whatever, but um, yeah, it's, it's a ride for sure. But I guess it kind of goes with the craziness of this car. And the handling as you would expect traditional muscle car tons of body roll it's pretty quick though i will give it that it's not a slow car it sounds fantastic too my gosh this is so difficult to try <laughs> oh my gosh for those of you who haven't driven it you don't know what i'm talking about about the steering thing definitely give it a try or most of you in the comments who already know about this you can chime in in the comments um this thing is ridiculous with that weird steering thing over the bumps all right, um, I think we'll pull over here and open all the doors and stuff. Pull over right here. So you get the real benefit of the car being death proof. You have to be sitting in that seat. <laughs> all right, anyways. <laughs> Dude, what's with the alarms of the cars? Oh my gosh, all right. There's the engine model. So the, it makes the valve covers primary color, okay. And there's that little seat cushion there. That's pretty good, not gonna lie. That's awesome. Obviously, you don't have the pexi glass, but Rockstar can't go that far in detail. That is amazing reference for sure. The trunk there. I love that. Let's get out of here because the car alarms are getting a bit annoying. Um, just put none. There we go. My gosh. Okay, I'll go over here. Hopefully, no more car alarms. Oh, and then of course this is in the muscle car category, so you can you can do wheelies. This thing does fantastic wheelies. Throttle control it and get a pretty good wheelie from that. Yeah, this thing, very very fun. Even even not considering the fact that it's a movie car, it's a very fun muscle car in general. Um, and you can you can go a lot of different ways with with the builds and stuff. So absolutely love it. Um, again, it is unfortunate Rockstar moved it from the website, but it just is what it is you know um you have to get it from a friend in the uh ls car meet if you're on current gen or use one of the other methods i talked about in my other video um you know to hopefully get this car but uh anyways guys hope you enjoyed definitely let me know down below in the comments what movie slash tv show build you want to see me do next and i'll see you in the next one